everyone. Today we are going to make a rhubarb and quinoa soup. So just kind of a fun, as more savory way to use up some of that rhubarb from your garden while making a really great healthy dish. Let's run through the ingredients quick. We're going to have six cups of, uh, this is water, but we'll be using vegetable stock or chicken stock. Obviously, if you're making it vegan, you'll want to use a vegetable stock instead of chicken stock. But if you're not vegan, I'd encourage you to just use what you have on hand, um, which we have bullion, which you can see kind of stuck in the bottom. So I'm going to rinse it with a little bit more water and add that in. veggies and stuff. So we have half a cup of dry quinoa. I'm trying to show you here. We have a cup of thinly sliced carrots or two large carrots. We'll have a around a cup of celery. Again, two large stalks is what I use. And then we have a cup of green onions here. And that is just around a bunch. Otherwise, if you're using regular onions, I would recommend doing Kind of one medium onion in here. Then we have two cups of fresh or frozen rhubarb. We used frozen so we put in slightly under two cups just because it does condense down. Obviously two fresh cups is going to be a little bit more volume. And then we also have two inches of freshly grated ginger here. And that's around a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons. Uh, but I use two inches of garlic, or ginger, sorry about that. But we're going to go ahead and just scrape all of this in here. Um, so that's the nice part about this soup is it's not adding one thing. If there are some things you add at the end, but for the most part, you can just dump everything in and it's a fairly quick cooking soup. So once you have all of your vegetables in, and again, you can use baby carrots, you can use big carrots, you can use purple carrots, but we just use two large carrots. Then we'll continue with our spices. So we did two teaspoons of packed brown sugar here, fourth a teaspoon pepper, fourth a teaspoon cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. So we'll dump that in. Again, we'll want to give this a nice stir and turn this on over medium heat here. And then the next step is just to bring this all to a boil before reducing the heat. You'll want to simmer this for 15 or 20 minutes to make sure that quinoa is nice and cooked. Obviously, if you want softer vegetables, feel free to go a little bit longer. Otherwise, after about 15 minutes, I feel like they'll be a little more al dente. And at that point, we can add the last couple things. So we will be adding four cups of baby spinach right at the end. You don't want it to get too mushy and gross. And then you can also add some chopped fresh chives. And if you really want to get crazy, add some potatoes pistachios. We won't be doing that today. We're mainly just going to do the baby spinach and serve it because that's what we have on hand and I like to encourage people to cook with what you have on hand. Kind of keep your grocery budget down and use up leftovers that might go to waste otherwise. So again we're going to boil this and then reduce it to a simmer for 10 to 15 minutes and then we will check how the vegetables are and you can do another five ten minutes or up to as long as you want and then serve uh, just before serving stir in your spinach so we'll check back when it's once boiling. again once it's boiling you want to simmer 10 to 15 minutes until your vegetables are the softness you want them if you want them a little more al dente well, on the shorter side if you want them completely cooked you could go up to 20 minutes or however long it takes and once this is done, we'll add our spinach. You can see we reduced it down and it's just kind of simmering there. So our last step here will be to add our spinach. All right, so we're just gonna take it and throw it in. 
And then we'll mix it around until it's nice and wilted. And then we'll serve it immediately. But you'll just kind of mix this in. You can tear it up if you want smaller bites, but you can see it's kind of wilting fairly quickly here. So we'll just take that and serve it right away. Hope you enjoy it and don't forget to like and subscribe.